everyone. Thank you for coming out. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone knows who I am? Yeah. My, if you don't know who I am, for those who have come out from our sponsors, I am Michelle Tosse. And uh, the creator of this program, here is my co-creator, Michael Seaban. Today we have a very exciting day for you. We want to uh, give you the opportunity to uh, be introduced to our uh, elders. Our Scugog First Nations elders have come out to join us. Um, we have, sorry, we have Elder Harold Asqui and Leona Charles. We have uh, the Deputy Chief of Police, Peter Slowly. We have David Arama. And Les Trout. Yeah! Deputy Chief of Police, and then we'll have a few words from uh, Les Stroud, and we'll start our day. Sounds good? Okay. Thank you, Michelle, and uh, welcome, kids. Uh, hope you're going to have a wonderful two days here. It's an amazing program. Michelle and Mike, uh, outstanding leadership. Uh, we get to wear the white shirts and the gold braid, but the work of the Toronto Police Service gets done by frontline officers who really care about their community and care about kids like you. I hope you'll get to know all the officers here, not just Michelle and Mike. There's lots of other officers here who are going to support you, work with you. They're going to be working behind the scenes on the logistics and with you out there in the field. Please take the time to get to know them. I know the officers here will take the time to get to know you. So then when we get back on the streets in Toronto, we'll have a friendly face and a connection that will help to keep you safe and help them do their jobs even better. On behalf of Chief Blair, to all our partners here, we've got Durham EMS, Pro Action Cops and Kids. Uh, we've got so many great partners here. McDonald's, Tim Hortons, who supported this. Thank you very much for everything you're doing. I'm a big fan of Survivor, the TV show, but that's not the real Survivor. We've got two real survivalists here, two real rock stars in the Survivor world, in Les Stroud and David Arama. And thank both of you very much for your support here. Get out of the way, because I think you want to hear from uh, Les and all of his thoughts about today. Hi, guys. Um, when this whole thing uh, was put together and I spoke with Michelle about doing it, I wanted to know why uh, all of this was sort of developing and, and where things were coming from. Um, because in the last bunch of years and the stuff that I've done, uh, it's been great and it's been sensational. It's been a lot of fun to be Survivor Man and I'm still doing Survivor Man shows. There's brand new stuff coming out. But uh, in the end, there has to be something deeper and something meaningful to everything that you do in life. And for me, it's always been about connections and about connecting to the earth. And um, it's, that's been a very, very important part of what I do. You'd think it would be really easy for me to be connected to the earth being Survivor Man, but in fact it's harder because a lot of business gets thrown in and a lot of intentions that are, have nothing to do with connecting to the earth. And uh, so I have to focus on that. And in this connection here with Michelle, one of the things that we wanted to, to foster was uh, connecting uh, with the police force, with the police, with the men and women that are on the forces because of the, the incredible work that they do. And it's, it's been an important part of my life uh, growing up on many levels and in many different ways I've connected with the police. And, uh, and I've got many great friends that are on the force and, uh, and wonderful relationships and I know they do some very powerful, very positive things for a lot of people. And so part of today is, is for you guys to, to connect, uh, to make that kind of connection. The other part of the day uh, bleeds into what David and I are going to work with you on. And of course, we're here because of survival and, and we're going to have a blast doing some of this stuff. We've got some challenges for you that are uh, down and dirty. But again, for me, what's most important is, is, the connect, is connecting to this out here, connecting to nature, connecting to the wilderness. I'm a big fan of not getting too caught up in complicated and detailed programs and things. We do have things for you to do and we do have a, you know, a sort of a, a way we're going to lay things out. But in the end, in the end, what's important for me while I'm here is two things. One, and, and I hope I'm saying this right because I'm Michelle say it all the time. She calls them coppers. So one is that I hope that you connect with all of the coppers that are here today and the fact that know that they're, they're only out here for you. 
This is all a volunteer situation for all of us. We're, we're basically, everybody that's here that isn't you is out here for you. That's why we're here. So number one is to connect with them well that way. And then number two, just for me, and, and I'm very certain also for the Skugog First Nations, uh, is to connect to the land. Wherever you go, the land has a spirit, and this land here has a spirit, and it's very powerful, and it's welcoming you here today. So when you're out there, touch the leaves, touch the sticks, the branches, the earth, watch out for the poison ivy, um, and enjoy it, because uh, you don't get all that many opportunities, especially living in cities. I'm a big fan. Certainly, I get to go out and, and touch the earth when I'm in jungles and deserts, and that's all very sensational, but the park is down at the end of your street. It's just down the block. There's all, always places you can go and connect with nature. And for me, connecting with nature is what keeps me grounded. So I'm thrilled to be here. And I, you guys, basically, you're here. You're going to have a blast. That's the bottom line is you're going to have a blast today. We're going to have a lot of fun. You can totally chill with this and, uh, and enjoy every aspect of it. So that's all I got to say for this morning. And, and I'd like to welcome the uh, Skugog First Nations who would, would like to uh, do a smudging to set this off right. And even with the actions that they do, understand that this is all about connecting to Mother Earth and all about connecting with the spirit of the land that's here. That's why you guys are here. This is all about connections today, guys. Thanks. Leona Charles. Right now, what's going to happen is uh, Harold Askawi is going to smudge our elders, or sorry, our dignitaries. I'll translate now into English. I'm of the Otter Clan. And uh, my uh, native spiritual name is Kandasunkwa, translated means woman who knows. My English name is Leona. And I'm just going to explain a little bit of what Harold is doing, what we call smudging. And when we smudge individually is we pull the smoke up over our head so we only think good thoughts over our ears so we only hear good things, our eyes so we only see good things. Harold will be doing a prayer in Ojibwe when he's done smudging. Ani, magkondo rin, and may nang show na rin dish na kas, masa sa kabore wala may na, iski ka rin na sing na Ojibwe. Nishnonga, <laughs> She can't ask what, you know, when I was, we were in a, she didn't know what in the garden, but, but I'm not kidding, yeah, yeah. That's just kind of a short one. <laughs> <coughs> I'm Bear Clan. My spirit name is Keeper of the South Wind. My tribal affiliation is uh, Mississaugan and Bodewatami. And I come from Skugog Island. And the thing is to ask the Creator to look down upon us, to take care of us as we learn about the survivals of life, to be able to look at the earth in a good way and what it has to offer us. Everything you see here no matter what, and even the things you can't see are of all creation. There is always spirit that travels around and that we must respect it all. And uh, 
one of our teachers is what we call the seven grandfather teachings. And love is the first one. Learning how to love yourself, to understand who you are as an individual, to be able to stay strong and understand and keep yourself in balance with all of creation. And also, once you're able to achieve a certain balance, the family gets stronger and healthier. And that's one of the things that we need to understand. And the second one is knowledge. Knowledge of everything that is around you, what you can see and what you can't see. Because we look beyond our own individual physical body that we're in. So we can sense a lot of things that cannot be seen. When people are troubled, we can feel that from them. And that gives us an opportunity to be able to help them as well. And the next one is probably the most favorite word ever used is respect. To be able to respect everybody in all of creation of what it has to offer you in life. And for the young men, Respecting the women is so important because they are the givers of life and you need to understand that and respect them and show them that they are very important. And don't forget you're important too because you play a small part in uh, their rearing children as well. And the next one is bravery. Bravery, in, in a sense, is not how tough you are, but how you look at yourself. To be able to confront those things that are inside that pain you, it's very difficult to challenge oneself and to understand that. And the next one is honesty. Honesty to be able to look at yourself in a very positive light. We have so many stereotypes that we all endure throughout life. But it is up to us to be as honest as possible and say I do love myself for who I am and the strength that I have to offer other people. And the next one is humility. To be able to be humble yourself to all of creation. Everybody has seen the totem pole. There's always man at the bottom. All of creation is above us because we need creation to survive and to be a good part of our lives. It helps to sustain us in life with the water and life giving force of Mother Earth. And lastly, truth. To be able to be truthful to others and to yourself. Everything revolves around who you are as an individual. And we ask the Creator to allow us to begin to learn and understand those things that are given to us so freely. It didn't cost you a dime to listen to me either, so sometimes I talk too much. <laughs> but laughter is another part of it. To be able to share laughter with other people not at another person's expense, but with that person. So that way you don't put them down. We're all equal, no matter where we are in life. And we give thanks for the Creator for that. Uh, Jimmy Quitch, thank you.
Okay, we're going to get started. We're going to separate you into teams. The four ATV drivers, if you can come forward, hop on your ATV. We've got in the back of your ATV an envelope, and your names, all the participants for the teams will be called out. So listen for your name, and go to the ATV driver that's called out your name. At the ATV, you will find You will find t-shirts in your team color. Find the t-shirt that fits you, the one that you ordered. I did take sizes from you guys, so find the size that you ordered. Put it on. We're going to do this quickly. Choose a leader, whether it's a teacher or a copper. The kids can choose a leader. That leader will carry the backpack, and in the backpack you'll find some items for, for the day's events. Uh, there's also a binder in there with your emergency uh, preparedness plan. Guys, are you just about ready? Yeah. ATV drivers, are you just about ready? Yeah. Just, uh, just to clarify, guys, once you receive your team, go over to the ATV, get your t-shirts, stay as a group. We're going to have a photo opportunity once you're in your team. Okay, so... Once you've got your t-shirts on, stay in your team, we'll arrange you by the, the, by the fire pit for those photos. Okay? For uh, Team Bear, which will be the uh, blue shirts uh, for the next two days, will be Dan LeClerc, mm -hmm. Jeff McNevin, Ruben Ganeshalingham, Ed Cooling, <laughs> Angus McPhee, oh, Mary Lou Collins, Brandon Valadad, <laughs> Eric Hernandez, <laughs> Michael Blake Williams, <laughs> Jody Harrington, <laughs> Quindon Hope. <laughs> And the last and final one for Team Bear, for Bear, is Stacy Victorine. Go ahead, Come over and grab your blue t-shirts of your Team Bear. Okay, guys. Your name has been called. You are Team Bear. You are in blue. All right, guys, listen up. The green shirts on the furthest ATV, Team Beaver. And what I'm going to do is I call your name, just head on over. Nicholas Bailey McGrath. Nick Go ahead, Nick. Oh. Rufaro. I don't want to wreck your last name. <laughs> yes. Malik Palmer. Hey. Oh. Joshua Shattuck. Oh, Ian Philippe. Oh, Everton. Brooke Cardoni. Felix Young. Daniel Sosa, Lynn Hanna, Justin Story, Jennifer Wilson, and Aaron Dixon. And a Team Beaver for the Team Beaver. Green Your name was just called your Team Beaver Green, the furthest ATV. Next. Either Mike. Or Mike. Pick one. All right, Team, Bo Team Moose is going to be the Burgundy. The Quan. Robert Kelly. Adrian. Vince Langdon. Sharon, uh, Alyssa, the Quan, those are my uh, the red T-shirts on the, the next eight team. Okay, go back. Angelo, <laughs> Brittany, <laughs> Alexia. Hey, Brittany was the other. Gabriel. Team moves. Hey, Team moves. Team moves. And Jeff Graham and Andrew Campbell. This is a no. I didn't think so. Project Ultimate Survivors. 
thanks for all the contributors. This is the video uh, we did for the whole thing. Can you just wind it up, uh, Mr. Mackerel? Yes. <laughs> it's just a thank you for everybody involved. It's all about the kids, but at the same time, it's all about the adults that are contributing to this. Some have contributed money, some have contributed their time. There's a lot of time being donated here, both by ProAction folks, uh, Canadian Tire Jumpstart in particular, money and their presence here. David Arama, Les Stroud, uh, Deputy Peter Slowly. Uh, most of these officers that you see here are on their own time. There's no overtime. Some of them are nights, night shift. Uh, there was training this week where we had people working the night shift and then in their own time being trained this week and stuff. So there's so many givers here that, that there's nothing but thanks to them. Our native elders who are right next to me here, they came uh, a long way and they put heart, heart and soul into this and we thank them for that too. We thank you too. <laughs> well, this looks like a great time and uh, we're building community and keeping it safe. So. A lot of fun and yes, exactly. These are kids who are at a crossroads in their lives. And they've, they've been identified as possible. So we're, we're, trying, we're trying our best to make them